This is what makes you feel like Christmas. I mean, I'm a bit confused as to what T-Rex has got to do with Christmas. I feel panic buying, weren't they? At the end, there was all these naked people, which I found really, really bizarre. And I didn't understand why there was naked people. Um, yeah, I, I, didn't, I just didn't really get it. Hi everyone and welcome to a vlog today. I thought I'd do a vlog this weekend because me and Jack are off together. Hopefully we'll get up to some good stuff this weekend. Um, it's a bit of a gloomy day today, not really much going on, but we are gonna go and head over to the range and I'm gonna show you what is kind of like new in their Christmas range at the moment. We're gonna try and get some Christmassy bits in today. Then I'm going to go and head over to B&M because I always like to go to B&M on my own. I don't know why, it's just the range is fine because the range is quite small so you can just get around there. But B&M is, oh, it's my wonderland. So I'm going to go and head over and go to B&M myself and I'm also going to see what they've got in their Christmas range. So I'll let you know what they've got there. We're going to go and have a little walk around the street and everything in a bit with Ami to do a bit of trick or treating. Obviously it's not proper trick or treating this year but our street have got like a Facebook group and everybody's been putting up there who's putting sweets out so you don't actually come into contact with people. But Ami is two now so this is her first proper like Halloween that she understands. So I do want to do something for her and she's got a little outfit to wear. We're going to go over to the range and then I'll catch up with you in a bit. What? Are you Jay as well? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh God, go! Fox. It's a fox, Sam. It's a fox, yeah. Is that a hedgehog? Yeah, look at all of this Christmas stuff. What is this? Snowman. <gasps> Got a million garlands. All of these things. <gasps> That's a really nice centerpiece. Squirrels. Squirrels. Mm. Oh, have you got that out, Am? That's lovely. I got it. I really like this. I like it. For like the table in the middle. You like that squirrel? Okay, keep walking. Come on then, keep coming. All the red and green, classic Christmas things. So like, for these are strange. They're quite nice actually though, because they're like in a forest green and they're just plain. Quite like them. Just to add a bit of green in for Christmas. Wow, let's go around then. This is, a, oh my God, that is gorgeous. I wanna get some more of these. Oh my God. Hey. You could have some of these things in your room, look. Oh, yeah. Do you want something Christmassy in your bedroom? Uncle. 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 Do you want a fairy? Oh, I like that. What about the spring look? Oh, my God. This is one ninety-nine. Do you like this? That's pretty, isn't it? Do you want to put it in the basket? Oh, make sure you don't break him. One ninety nine. That's absolutely amazing. And that's two ninety nine. Look at that. Ami, where are you going? Oh my god! Can you see the reindeer tongue? <laughs> Look at the face. Um, <laughs> Ami. You can go look at the reindeer. Go and look at him then. <laughs> look! 
Is Santa? No, no, okay, walk to daddy then. Look. This is what makes you feel like Christmas. With all the rubbish going on at the moment, you could literally just come and stand in the range and feel like you have actually got Christmas. Look, Emily. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down. Everything will be okay Cause all I wanna do is spend this holiday with you Tomorrow it is Christmas The first for me and you I've longed for this moment To have you for myself In a cabin out of <laughs> confused as to what T-Rex has got to do with Christmas. Do you like it? You don't like it? Okay, we'll move on then. Is it ever since July I've been happier than I have ever been It's safe to say that my love for you is true Tomorrow is The range was an absolute fail. Um, came out with this. Pretty much all we came out with because it was so. Are you okay, Am? It was so busy in there. Do you know what I think everyone was doing? They were panic buying, weren't they? Well, I, I know, but just in case they closed the shops, I think people were Christmas panic buying. That's what they were doing. I'm not saying that. I I know they might not, but I'm I'm just saying like, I know we weren't, but I feel like that's the mindset of other people. They probably were doing that. Do you know what I mean? Don't panic buy. There were so many people in there. It wasn't like a normal Saturday job that one. There was a lot of people in there. So yeah, all we managed to come out with was the new Febreze spray, which I can't wait to use. And then that little thing, weren't it, for Amy's room, the little rain here. The rain has completely ruined my ear. No, I didn't think to it anyway. Look like Hagrid because the rain caught us while we were at the range. I'm looking like Hagrid, but I'm going to show you what we got from the range. As you saw before, the range was so busy. It was actually unbelievable. It, it really was like people were panic buying. Like Jack was like, oh, no one's panic buying. It looked like they were panic buying. People had trolleys rammed full of Christmas stuff. It, it was actually insane, to be quite honest. The queue was all the way around the shop which was ridiculous you know like we're at the end of october like it's not like we're at the end of november like we've got no idea what's going to happen i really don't think that we need to be doing christmas panic buying right now but people were so we clearly weren't panic buying because i walked out the shop with three things but i'm going to show you what they were because i think they were actually quite good i showed you in the shopping clip that they had these 
um these were 199 which i think is absolutely crazy because it actually looks really cute i just thought it would go nice in amy's bedroom um it's like a little wooden plinth and then on the top it's got a little blush reindeer it's really nice detail in here i just thought it was dead sweet and for 199 199 so i'm gonna add a couple of christmas bits to amy's room this year because i've never done that before i don't know if anybody else does that like puts christmas decorations in their kids room or anything like that but i'm gonna go with this because i just thought it was so cute and i weren't gonna leave it there for 199 the other thing that i've got boring but gonna have to show you is this bleach spray um this bleach spray it's a star drops bathroom spray bleach i was on the lookout for a bleach spray because i normally use the astonish mold and mildew i think it is for in the shower like i just like to spray it around every time like when we get out um and they never had any obviously typical I ended up getting this one just smack myself in the eye i ended up getting this one and it was a pound so thought gonna give it a whirl let you know what it's like um and then the very exciting purchase for me because i love smells you know i like smell is this febreze now i normally use the pine one at christmas time well i lie i use the pine one throughout the whole year i do stock up on that that's my panic buy febreze spray um febreze air mist limited edition sugar plum delight now i know this is nice because i have the little um febreze plugins and i bought the sugar plum delight one not that long ago so i just thought i'd uh give this a go I'm gonna spray it and see what it smells like. Ooh. Mm. Oh, it's all over my leather leggings. You know, the thing is with that one, I don't really know what the sugar plum, I don't really, it doesn't smell like sugar plum. I don't even know what sugar plum is meant to smell like, to be honest. But um, it just smells Christmassy. Yeah, that, that is all that I got from the range. I'm gonna go and head over to B&M now, so I'll kind of show you what they've got in the Christmas aisles and stuff like that. Well, I'm hoping to, but if they're panic buying, like in the range, literally, I could get my camera out in certain areas, but I always find that people stare at you a little bit when you've got a camera and they're a bit like, no, I, I don't really care about you. I really, really don't want you with my camera. I wanna get that bauble that's in the corner, but you're standing in the way, but you know. It is what it is. So I'm going to go to the B&M. Me and Jack need to get some sweets as well for everybody that's coming round, obviously for trick or treating. Not physically coming around the house, but you know, coming past the house. So we need to go and get some like Harry Bows and stuff like that. And I could do with getting like a little cauldron or something to put these sweets in because I don't really have a bowl to put sweets in. Um, we are lastminute.com family, so you'll start to work that out about us gonna go and head over to B&M Bargains we'll see what we can find and then I'll catch up with you in a bit. B&M was an absolute fail as well it was so busy I couldn't even I couldn't even even myself think. It was that busy when I turned up to the car park I didn't even take my camera in because I thought I know I'm not gonna want to get my camera right in there so I did get some bits on my phone and I don't even know if I'm gonna put them in this but we'll see. Um, so this is the Covid idea that i've had for halloween i bought these cups and these cups were two pounds you get 25 in there and then i've got individual packs and they're halloweeny look halloweeny yeah. little spooky spooky scene on there and then i got these sweets amelie's actually ran off with a pack um i got these that are all in like individual packets these which were kind of like great british bake-off theme never seen them before ever and then amelie can i have them ones babe gotta put them in the uh, in the cups and then obviously your classic harry bow star mix so i'm going to put each a packet of each of those and i'm going to put them in one of these cups i thought that was dead sweet uh didn't really get anything else from there got this little um tea light holder though not for my tea lights it's actually to hold my earrings and my jewelry and stuff like that in next to my bed i thought it was quite sweet and i wanted some more black little bits in there so i've got that and then the only christmas thing that i picked up was this cute little i don't even know what it is it's like a bit of a log 
but it's got a Christmas tree on it and then it's got this little kind of like garland thing at the top. Can you see it? Is it fixing? Yes, I think it is. So yeah, I got that for £1.50 and they had loads of different designs. So I think I might pick up a couple like next time I go and just like dot them around the house because I really like them. Oh, and then the final thing I got was coffee. Uh, got to have a bit of coffee. But they gave it me in this massive, massive bin bag, Santa sack. So you can imagine, oh, I think I've got something else in the bottom. Oh, it's, it's just the receipt, just the receipt. So I've got in some cozy pyjamas and me and Jack are now going to watch a scary film. I can't remember what the name is. I'll have to go and check when I go downstairs. Um, yeah, we're so excited. Obviously, it's Halloween. So what would Halloween be without a scary movie? I've got some sweet potato fries in the air fryer. And I'm going to basically pig out whilst I watch a movie. What's the film called again? Uh, hereditary. Hereditary. Is that what we're watching? Yeah. Hereditary. Would I recommend Hereditary to anybody else? I'm going to say no. It was weird and it lost me. Mm. What did you think it was, Shelby? Do you think it was good? Oh. Morning everyone, it is Sunday today and I've just got my hair and makeup done uh, just because it's nice to make a bit of an effort on the weekend. Today we are heading over to B&Q because basically Emily had a bit of a disaster with the coffee room table. Uh, not sure if I told you about it, but this happened. It happened because Emily was playing around with one of my reed diffusers and it spilt on the table and has literally stripped all of the stain off the wood. So we've got to go to B&Q and see if they've got like a colour that matches that, basically. I don't know if they're going to have one, but we're going to give it a go and we're going to see. So we're going to go and do that. And then there's a place near us called Formock Reservoir. So we're going to go and walk the dog there. Genuinely can't remember if I caught up with you properly about the film last night. So we watched Hereditary, but I didn't really get the story. It didn't really make sense. To start with, I thought it was going to kind of be like, I thought it was going to be a thriller because there wasn't really anything like scary happening. It was more like um, a little bit, well, there weren't really anything that made you feel like jumpy or anything. Then all of a sudden, probably about 40 minutes into the film, it just started ramping up. It was so scary, but I don't really know why I was scared because I didn't really get the story. The film didn't flow. It didn't flow. And then at the end, there was all these naked people, which I found really, really bizarre. And I didn't understand why there was naked people um yeah I, I didn't i just didn't really get it i didn't get it so i can't say that i recommend that film it was a bit odd ada shelby's was really excited to go for a walk i'm just gonna make myself a coffee and then we're just gonna have a nice cozy day also just recently had my hair done as i mentioned kind of like previously in the other video but you can see it better in the light now i'm literally loving this like proper blonde around the face I feel like some days you can look like you've got dark hair. And now I'm blonde. I need to get hold of this shampoo that is, I can't remember what it's called now. Vanola No Orange, I think it's called. My hairdresser recommended it to me, so I need to get some of that because for some reason, whenever I wash my hair, it instantly starts to go back to that brassy color. Um, my hair's always done that. You can get it on Amazon, so I'm gonna look on there. She sent me the link for it anyway. So I'm gonna pick some of that up. And then when I use that at home, she literally said it's like a toner in a bottle. So if you have problems with a brassy hair, then I'll let you know how we get on with that. Wanna be free of this heart, yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here, more than I would. You what, doing what? You going mad? Right, okay. 
Looks like it as well. You're never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about right, you a lot. Come on then this way. You what? I know that's all I want to do. So we are at Fullmark Reservoir near Ross and it's basically like a man-made beach. So we told Amy we were coming to the beach today and this is where we are. And to be honest, it's such a nice walk. It's the first time Ada's ever been to the beach. Oh yeah, I know. I'd like to be able to get them on camera. I don't know if you can see in the background. Let's see if I can see you. Have you got your eye on Ada? What's she? There's this guy. I don't know whether you can see them. They're there. And he's been running around the beach. He's been in the water, up to his neck for like a certain amount of minutes. I think he's training for something. Um, if you ask me, he's absolutely barking mad because it's freezing. Um, so yeah, we just decided we'd come here for a walk today. Obviously, everything's kind of a bit depressing at the moment with us going back into a national lockdown on Thursday. So we thought we'd come and have a bit of a family day here. Well, a family couple of hours. Amy, how are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Yeah? Are you happy you're at the beach? Where are you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's all a bit depressing. Um, me and Hannah are going to have to close the business on Thursday which is really really rubbish because we've got everything in place for you know all the procedures and everything we were told we needed all these in place and now they've just told us that we've got to close again which is really really crap you know but there's a lot of people out there that have had to close their business and it's their livelihood it makes me so sad um so yeah it's a bit crap really don't know what the vlogs are going to entail over lockdown, but we will see. Morning everyone. So, last night I was painting the bedside tables. Finally completed it at like 11 o'clock last night. This is the bedside table. It now matches this really, really nicely. It ties it all in nicely together. Now we just need to get some prints to go up um, here. Not too sure what I'm going to put in them yet, but I think they'll look nice there. I was considering putting some at the top of the bed, but our headboard is really, really high. So I'm not sure whether to go with that yet. Let me know what you think in the comments below because I'm unsure what to actually go for. But yeah, I'm so happy with it. It's really tying it together and it's exactly what I wanted. I really hope that today's video has got you in the Christmassy mood. I can't wait to go and do some more Christmassy things. I've got a couple of things that I want to do that's quite Christmassy. So I'm really hoping that me and Emily and Jack are gonna be able to do those uh yeah i really hope you enjoyed this weekend's vlog let me know if you want to see some more family vlogs in the comments below if you like this video then make sure you give it a thumbs up if you're not already subscribed make sure you're subscribed and if you are subscribed then thank you so much and thank you for getting to the end of this video take care everybody stay safe and i'll see you in the next one